Yo, what is up guys, it's your boy Face, and I'm here with a new video for y'all today, man. And I'm gonna show you guys how I make Jersey Club, and I hopped on this song with Noxian. Links to their socials in the description, man. Make sure you guys check them out, and I'm gonna do a quick project breakdown, you know what I'm saying? Show you guys everything that we did in order to, like, make it hot, you know what I'm saying? And I know sometimes I miss out on some things in certain videos, so I'm gonna try my best to, like, put everything in there. But yeah, without further ado, let's get into the video. Alright, so boom. You got your little song that you want to make a Jersey Club remix to, right? And you're wondering, how are you going to get this in your FL Studio? Oh, what you're going to do is you're going to want to search with the audio. Yep, make sure it's the actual song. Then you're going to copy the link. You're going to go to whatever you use to download your YouTube videos. I'm not giving you no site because I'm not getting in trouble. But you're going to download the video. All right, boom. So you're going to head over to vocalremover.org, right? And this is where you're going to extract all your vocals and stuff. I'm pretty sure everybody already knows how to get a YouTube video into MP3 format or whatever. And if you don't, go look at another YouTube video because I don't want to get in trouble for any of that. But yeah, you're going to want to hit browse my files. You're going to bring in your file right here. And go do this little process. You know what I'm saying? It shouldn't be that long. All right. So once everything is done, it should come up like this. And it's going to give you your instrumental first. <laughs> We don't really care about that right now. All we care about is the vocals. That sounds pretty good, you know. You hear a little bit of the instruments in the background, but it's not that big of a deal. What you're going to do is you're going to hit music to download that one, and then you're going to hit vocal afterwards. Do not press music and vocal because you're just going to download the same thing you had before. So don't do that. Oh, I just want to stop you guys right quick. I want to let you guys know that you can cop Pandora BST right now. I teamed up with Tiger Sounds, man. We got a code FACY20 for 20% off to get this VST. Now, I'm trying to tell y'all, this is a really good VST. They got 808s, plugs, synths, all types of stuff. Like, if you're not into sound design and you need sounds right then and there, this is the VST for you, man. And even if you want to design it afterwards, you can still do that. Render out the sound, add some plugins to it whatever you want to do sound design it it works the same way so yeah make sure y'all cop pandora vst man i really like the piano on this plugin man like it's enough to make me buy it you know what i'm saying and also i love the 808s you know they're like everyday 808s that you use so make sure y'all cop pandora vst right now man facey 20 use it man use it now all you're gonna do is Bring in your new downloads or whatever you have, you know, your music and your vocals. But I didn't download it because I'm going to just show you guys the project uh, breakdown. But all you would do is just drag it in, like pretend this is the vocals. You just drag it in on top and then boom. And then now I'm going to show you guys the actual project. All right. So for this specific song, we have the instrumental and the vocals. But some other people like to use different instrumentals. But we decided to use the same instrumental, same vocals. I said so for the beginning we just got the original tempo and then we just bring it up to something more jersey club suiting you know what I'm saying So right there, we didn't do anything too crazy. Just brought up the tempo and then put the vocals in. So nothing that you guys can't do. And then that's Noxian's tag right there. So all you do, bring in the little swoosh, whatever you want to call it, or riser, whatever you want to call it, I don't know. And then add a little vocal right here again. This is what she says, oh my, and then that's when Noxian decides to just spam God, I guess. So really, all that's going on right here is just knowing where to place the vocals, you know what I'm saying? And just the instruments on the back with the few snaps and this little sound right here. This little pause sound, I guess. And then you got the little bass in the back and 
Everybody already knows the pattern that you usually use. The pattern right here. Nothing too crazy, nothing you can't handle. And then we just put a little bit before so that it sounds like a good transition. <laughs> So as you can see already, it's nothing too crazy. It's just vocal chops. What you got to learn, just vocal chops. And then right here, now saying decide to take the vocals and go crazy with it with this little channel pitch. All you're going to want to do to get this is double click. And then you're going to right click pitch. You got to bring the range up. I guess they decided to use five. So you're going to right click. Then you're going to do which one which one create automation clip and this is going to pop up this little purple thing and then you just shape it however you want if you bring it down the pitch will go down you bring it up the pitch will go up but you see how it's in the middle you want to keep it in the middle because that's the original pitch so keep it in the middle if you want to return back to home <laughs> now to make this you really just spam a whole bunch of vocals honestly it's not hard you just got to find what works <laughs> As you can see, it's the same vocal, but like it sounds different because it's little pitch automation. <laughs> it just goes really well. A lot of Jersey Club artists like to do this, so start utilizing it. <laughs> We started adding a little bit extra stuff, you know, just Jersey Club sounds, not that big of a deal, just this little gun cock sound. Jersey Club samples again. And these are just vocal chops on top. You know, you just add a little bit more each section. It's nothing too crazy. Right here, another Jersey Club sample. You know, it's nothing too crazy. This is like a chill part. That's what the kind of vibes I'm getting from it. I don't know about y'all. But same process. Just vocal chops. And this these are not working for some reason. But I'm pretty sure that's how it's supposed to be. I didn't mess with it. It's not my part. So I don't want to mess with anything. But yeah. <laughs> Same thing again, just a little pitch shifter. But yeah. Now we just have a little gun shot here. Same process. <laughs> this is the little breakdown. So you know you got this little sound in there. I'll show you the little rhythm that Noxian made. Now I'm saying, just keep it simple. They move on right here. Alright. Now it sounds crazy, but it's really not that big of a deal. Like, it's not that much going on, you know what I'm saying? Just more samples, more vocal chops. What really matters is your vocal chops. If you have a lot of vocal chops, it's going to sound crazy. That's why it sounds so crazy right now, because of the vocal chops. But there's also a few Jersey Club samples in there, you know? Like, this is a very well-known one. It's the kind of beat to go. It's the That's a really well-known one. Then we got the vocal chops. And the same stuff happening at the bottom, just a different arrangement. <laughs> Little clap sample right here, and then we got the acapella. Uh, blah, blah. We got the acapella playing at the bottom. You know what I'm saying? This is where it switches to my part, and then Noxian made this little thing right here. I really like it. So yeah. <laughs> then I got my tag in there. I put a lot of OTT and filter on it to make it sound like. I don't even want to explain it, but it sounds like um, there's literally no low end, if that makes sense. All right, so what I did right here is to bring it in, I just did a lot of um, 808 rules. And I really like how it sounds right here. Like, honestly, I could just listen to this part over and over again. Like, it's just 
just so valid to me. I don't know. But yeah, nothing really changed right here. Just the vocal chops. Like, it's easier to explain what it's mine because I actually know what I did. So, this is what I did right here. These are where all my vocal chops are. No, all I did was take points of the song that were like very crucial, I guess. I don't know. Stuff that you hear usually, stuff in the chorus, and then I took something else in the background and I just panned it left to right, right here. But I didn't abuse it too much because I didn't want people to get tired of it. And then at the bottom, I just added Jersey Club samples to fill it up, you know? Just don't do too much. Everything will like come in on its own, you know what I mean? What I like to do is, um, if I'm working with someone, yeah, I like to put their tag, even if it's my stuff, I don't really care. Because even if it's my part, if something could fit in, I'm going to try and fit it in. And I don't really like to abuse a lot of samples. So you can use somebody's tag as a sample as well. See how like the tag just flows. As you can see, it's not a lot going on. It's really the samples that carry, you know what I'm saying? Instrumental in those drums in the back, and it creates this whole song. I also want to show you guys stop your jersey club sections right here or a little bit before anywhere you want just stop it somewhere and try and switch it up you know what i'm saying it keeps it interesting stuff like this this little pause abuse stuff like that but don't od od but like use stuff like that you know what i'm saying and i really like this vocal shot that i did for it honestly as you can see same thing right here i did a left to right pitch uh i said pitch pan see left right and then i brought it back to the middle right here i was saying and then i brought this at the bottom but you can't hear it because this is not on It just flows really nice, you know what I'm saying? Alright, so right here, we change it up again. We got the little breakdown. It's not really a breakdown, but it's definitely different from what we have before because the instrumental goes from piano, I'm pretty sure, to this. If I could get it. So it sounds like a breakdown almost, and then the drums are very simple. And we just have simple stuff, simple as you call samples, you know. These are the vocal chops, but they kind of count as samples because like, it just flows so well with it. I don't even gotta explain it. But yeah, and then I'm sure you guys just do a transition. All that I did was take this little sample right here and cut it up. And then I added in this little scratch sample. Together. Sounds pretty good. And then, so just make it sound good all together. Until I transition to the next part, I added this. 
as well as this air horn. Yeah. Alright, so right here, I changed it up a lot. I didn't uh, use vocal chops anymore because I was getting tired of it, I guess. I don't know. I was rushing this because I wanted to get this out because, again, it's not my song. So, I just wanted to hop on it. So, what I did was take the original sample and I just added lead over it. I'm saying all I got on there is delay and reverb, man. In that same order, make sure you put the delay first because it makes it sound godly. Then, I'm saying I kept it simple, same drums, I just took out a lot of samples. Oh, the drums go crazy though, actually. Simple at first. lead I uh, chopped it up and brought the volume down a little bit so I could transition and then I can't see because the sun is directly on my monitor <laughs> right here I did a transition with the tags I like mixed in Noxia's tag and my tag all at once you know I kind of like stole their tag kind of <laughs> like, like, you gotta really hear it. Like, it really flows. You know what I'm saying? I think the tag says Blood 4 and then Noxus or Noxian. I don't know. I think that's what the tag says. So, what I was going for was Blood for Faces so I could mix the tags in together. You know what I'm saying? Letting you know that it's two people on the song, but at the same time, like, it's still a cool thing to do. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> This lot five mix level thing right here is just delay, but it didn't change because I put the delay after the automation clip. Like after I did the automation clip, I then put delay on it. So that's why I said slot five, but it's really just delay. And then <laughs> as you can see the lead changes again. Now we have a sign lead, I think. And for some reason I was just playing on the MIDI controller and I just came up with this. And then it just reminded me of something. I was like, wait, I heard this from somewhere, like from my childhood, like Roblox. And then I remembered it kind of, but I couldn't find a sample. So I just played it out on the MIDI keyboard. That's pretty close to what it actually is. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to take it. You know? If you know where it's from, then comment to you know what I'm saying? But I completely forgot. I took the vocals and just put them back. Got the piano instrument to put it back. And then, yeah, I put an actual kick now. I like that kick because it just like, it's not like an actual kick that you would like put as your main drop kind of a thing. So it kind of just lets you know that the song is ending almost. As you can see, the sign lead doesn't really have any effects on it, but that's like literally on purpose so it could sound very cheesy. But yeah, see, like I could just stop it, no reverb, no delay, no nothing. It probably would have sounded better with delay and reverb, but you know what I'm saying? Actually, let me try it out. As for reverb, it sounds better with other leads, but. Probably does sound better i don't know but it's too late to fix it now because i already released the song so yeah that's pretty much the project i explained it as fast as i could and as best as i could to be honest it's just a project breakdown at the end of the day like i can't teach you how i did literally everything because that would be like a long ass video but i taught you pretty much all the basics i showed you everything that was done it's not hard at all it's just vocal chops 
knowing where to place the vocals jersey samples and if you need jersey samples they're in the description and you can also join my discord people share samples all the time you could get other kits for people you could buy my own kits you know stuff like that yeah and make sure you, you follow like the socials in the description make sure you follow noxian as well this is their song so you know what i'm saying i just hopped on it because i really liked it but yeah that's the end of the video